All right, young other gang, we back at you again. Oh, yes, we non-stop action, baby. We all around game. We got comedy. We got classes. We got books. We got music. We ain't missing them, right? We coming for the comedy game. We coming for the comedy game now. We're going to be doing that Saturday night stand-up. Uh, I'm going to try to get with the brother Messiah and get him back on, on the language classes, man. I got to get in touch with the brother Messiah. Man, we've we been busy, bro. Because we, we got a lot of people trying to get on the show. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with all the brothers. Shout out to the brother Katron, man. We're going to get you on the show, brother. Uh, every time I text the brother, either it says our time is off or something. Uh, let me get this thumbnail loaded up. We going into some high power shit. Like, keep in mind, and hey, we're going to keep it clean, YouTube. And we're going to be, we ain't going to run it five hours tonight. We're going to just do an hour and a half. Then we'll cut. Go to another uh, class. That I, so we're gonna do like four. We're gonna do like three or four classes back to back. Me and fifteen. So uh, it's gonna be a ride tonight. That's why we starting right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna get fifteen in the building. We warming up the stage. Oh uh, yeah, this is about to be a good one. Pure energy with Tom Ray, baby. Ladies, get in the building. You don't want to miss this one. Let me get switched to that laptop so I can get 15 on. Ladies, you don't want to miss this one. Get them in the building. Tone. Chief Maku, shining brave. Right? You don't want to miss this one. Ladies. He's already taken. Me cool, baby. Oh, yeah. Let me let the uh, 15 know we live. We lit. We about to we about to take off. We're going to have Rod back on. Uh, probably uh, I'm waiting on Rod to respond right now when he's going to come back. Let me see if the 15, uh, is, he, is he ready? Let me get the 15 on, y'all. We hot. Houston, we have takeoff. Houston, we have takeoff, baby. It's about to get hot and greasy up in here, baby. We're going to be talking about what is pure energy. We are pure energy. With the 15 Elder Tone Ray, baby. Get them in the building. It's about to go, go up. Uh, let me get this in the building. Whoa. Hey, if you're coming into the building, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. Share it on your page right now. We tell them we live. We hot. We the hottest in the game. We putting it out. We, we do it and everybody, they follow suit. They follow suit. Uh, let me see. I think 15 might be up in here, man. Let me make sure. Okay. I'm waiting on them. Peace, peace, family. We still got those eight books by the young elder for the $45 donation to the cash app or the PayPal. We'll send it to you in PDF form. Oh, here's our 15 right here. We'll send it to you in PDF form. Also, if you want to show the brother 15 elders some love, we're going to have his cash app pending, and we're going to be dropping it for the people that be asking uh, every five minutes. So, and we're going to have the 15 elders page locked in the descriptions. And for the people that say, hey, man, they still ask. And we tell them it's in the descriptions. So we're going to put it in the comments too for you. Make it easy for you. Nubians like shit easy, fast. And, and right now, I'm on it right now. Hey, we got the 15 L in the building, y'all. We're about to get ready to get lit. 
Hey, hey, 15, you go. Uh, we got about 20 people. We'll give them a couple more minutes. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna see. I think it's more than that. We'll... Oh, All right. Well, I mean, you know, I, I want to tell everybody greetings. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, um, I got one more thing I got to do first before I really get started. I got to get this wait, 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 wait. I can, I can warm, I'm warming the stage up for you right now. I'm, I'm getting all, all the right. uh, links, links out. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. It's about to, hey, you already know me and 15 yeah. for the class one day for 20, with 22 hours. <laughs> you, 22 hours. Yeah, we sure did. We sure did. It was three shifts. I fell asleep. Three woke shifts. back up. We started like, yeah. I was like, cool. <laughs> uh, somebody said that in the comments. They said it in the comments on, on uh, my channel. And it's like, yeah. No, no, it was on your. It was on yours on the last video uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that we did. And the sister was like, she fell asleep. When we, two of us talking, woke up, I was still talking. She started listening again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, yeah, that's that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up, man. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully I was saying something worthwhile, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got them. Hey, we, hey, we you know how we do it, man. We can go all day long. I, I'm a motor. Yeah. They call me motor mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The radio. The radio. Running. <laughs> Maybe yeah, bro. Yeah. You know that video I sent you to uh Yeah, yeah I got it. You want me to roll it? Okay, yeah, okay, all right, uh, okay, I got Because that, yeah, I'm going I'm to go off of that, that video for them when I explain this okay. topic, because I remember being asked this the last time I was on, and I want to be able to show people why I keep telling them, uh, you know, it's never going to be a 100% positive nothing. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, I can't wait till yeah. you break that down on this tonight. So, well, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roll that, roll that, roll that beautiful V footage. It's called uh, I think how electricity works. Yeah, I got it so saved I'll already. Be... Uh, I got it already saved, ready to go. As soon as I uh, I gotta do, do this right here, and it's gonna roll out right there. All right, all right. It's the one. And this there. isn't this this isn't to insult anybody's intelligence. It's to say they don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. I'm using this visual okay. to help you know prove. Or not prove, but actually drive home a a, a point here. Okay, uh, all right, all right. I got you. This is gonna be fire. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Okay, it's gonna be this one right here. This is how to electricity. Boom, right there. No, that is that it? Yeah, it's how to electricity. That one right there. Uh, all right, here we go. Let me blow it up for you. It's about to take off, y'all. We gave them time to get in. We gave them time to and get greetings in. Greetings to the family, man. Greetings to everybody that's here and uh, peace and love, man. Always. You want me to go on this roller right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic so they can listen. Uh -huh. Hey, guys. Paul here from the engineeringmindset.com. In this video, we are going to be looking at how electricity works. Now, this is pretty essential knowledge for any engineer, so we'll run through the basic parts of what you need to know. So let's start at the very basics, and for that, we need to take a look at the atom. Everything, including you, is made from atoms. All the materials we use are made from atoms. The materials are just different because the construction of their atoms are slightly different. The atoms are made from free particles two of which are found inside the nucleus, and the third particle sits outside this. At the center of the atom, we have the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, we have the neutrons, which have no charge, and we also have the protons, which are positively charged. The neutrons and the protons are much heavier than the electrons, so these will stay within the nucleus. Surrounding the nucleus are different layers of orbital shells. These are like flight paths for the electrons. The electrons flow along these flight paths, much like a satellite orbits our planet, except that the electrons travel at almost the speed of light. The electrons are negatively charged and they are attracted to the positive charge of the protons. The electrons orbit around the nucleus in these orbital shells and there are a set number of how many electrons can be in any one orbital shell. The number of protons, neutrons and electrons an atom has tells us which material it is. 
Let's talk about easy, like fee-free easy. Is that a commercial? Yeah, 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 yeah. But some materials will hold onto them more tightly than others. The outermost shell is known as the valence shell. And in this shell, some materials have loosely bound electrons, which can flow to other atoms. Atoms which can pass electrons are called conductors, and most metals are conductors. On the other hand, atoms which do not have free electrons, and so they can't pass electrons between other atoms, are known as insulators. And these are things like glass and rubber. And we can combine these materials to safely use electricity by having the conductor in the center, which allows electrons to move, but surround this with an insulator to restrict where they can flow to, i.e. not into us, which keeps us safe. If we look inside a slice of copper cable at the free electrons surrounding the nucleus of the copper atom, you'll see that the free electrons are able to move to other atoms but this happens randomly in any direction. Mm -hmm. If we then connect the slice of copper cable to a closed circuit with a power source, such as a battery, then the voltage will force the electrons to move, and these will then all flow in the same direction to try and get back to the other terminal of the battery. When I say circuit, this just means the route which electrons can flow along between the two terminals, the positive and the negative, of a power source. So we can add things into their path like light bulbs, and this means that the electrons will have to pass through this in order to get to the other terminal. And so we can use this to create things such as light. The circuit can even be open or closed. In a closed circuit, that means the electrons can flow around. And in an open circuit, this means that the electrons are not able to flow. Voltage is a pushing force of electrons within a circuit. It's like pressure in a water pipe. The more pressure you have, the more water can flow. The more voltage you have, the more electrons can flow. But what does a volt mean? Well, a volt is a joule per coulomb, and a joule is a measurement of energy or work, and a coulomb is a group of flowing electrons. We'll have a look at what a coulomb is in just a second, though. So a nine volt battery can provide nine joules of energy in the form of work or heat per group of electrons that flow from one side of the battery to the other. In this case, the current of electrons flow from one side of the battery through the LED light bulb, which produces light, and then the electrons flow to the other side of the battery. Therefore, nine joules of light and heat is produced by the light bulb. Mm. Current is the flow of electrons. When a circuit is closed, it means electrons can flow, and when the circuit is open, no electrons will flow. We can measure the flow of electrons, just like you can measure the flow of water through a pipe. To measure the flow of electrons, we use the unit of amp. One amp means one coulomb per second, and one coulomb is a group of electrons. The group is incredibly large and is approximately 6,242,000,000 billion electrons. And that has to pass in one second for it to equal one amp. That's why electrons are grouped together and just called amps to make it easier for engineers. Resistance is a restriction to the flow of electrons in a circuit. The wire which carries the electrons will naturally have some resistance. The longer the wire, the greater the resistance. The thicker the wire, the lower the resistance. The resistance to the flow of electrons is different for each material, and the temperature of the material can also change resistance to the flow of electrons. Electrical circuits use specially designed components known as resistors to purposely restrict the flow of electrons. This is either to protect other components from too many electrons flowing through it, or it can also be used to create light and heat such as in an incandescent light bulb. Resistance occurs when electrons collide with atoms. The amount of collisions is different from one material to another. Copper has a very low collision rate, but other materials such as iron will have much more collisions. When collisions occur, the atoms generate heat, and at a certain temperature, the material will then start to produce light as well as heat, which is how the incandescent mm. lamps work. When a wire is wrapped in a coil, it will generate a magnetic field as the current passes through it. It will naturally create an electromagnetic field by itself. It's just intensified by the coil. So now we're... You see where we're going with this, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who, hey. who's, whose hair coils like that? Ours. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead. 
Hey, look, you put it. Hey, I already know. I like I I, I can feel the energy. It's, it's, it's building. <laughs> feel it. It's for the, this right here gonna be good. Hey, I should have put some pictures of that car hair on here though. They're wrapping it in a coil. I got it. Magnetic no field becomes so strong. I got it. Uh, I know where the magnetic is. field starts to actually affect the electrons within the wire. But we'll look at why this okay. occurs in a future more advanced video. We can increase the strength of the magnetic field simply by wrapping the coils around an iron core. We can also increase the number of turns within the coils, and also we can increase the amount of current passing mm. through the circuit. Now, this is how electromagnets work, and it's also the basis of how induction motors work. If you want to learn more about induction motors, we've already covered this in another video already. Just see the link on screen now. Now, when a magnetic field passes across a coil of wire, it will induce a voltage in that wire caused by an induced electromotive force, which is pushing the electrons in a certain direction. If the wire is connected in a circuit, then this electromotive force will cause a current to flow. This is the basis of how AC generators work, and the electricity at your wall sockets within your home is produced in a very similar way. Transformer. Now, we can combine all of the aspects together that we've just covered, and when we do so, we'll see Transformers, the more yeah. than meets the <laughs> eye. <laughs> so, hey, I, I want to know if Transformers got a magnet in it like they're moving. Oh, they, they ain't, this right here more advanced than the shit that they using, though. Uh, it's, it's showing you, see the blue? Uh -huh. See that blue color? That's yeah, the right negative. Here. The yeah. red color is the positive. Okay. That's how magnetism works. And then it's showing you that you need both of those in order for the ions to even start moving. Or yeah. otherwise, the ions stay still, okay. whether they're charged or not. So mm -hmm. they, they, you know, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I got you, I got you in very close proximity to each other but not touching um, and this will create a transformer the transformer will induce a voltage from the first or the primary coil over into the secondary coil and this will force electrons to flow if the coil in the secondary side uh, has a closed circuit now what's important about the transformer is that we can increase or decrease the voltage between the primary and the secondary coils simply by changing the amount of coils on either side Again, this is a subject all by itself, so we'll cover this in a more it's advanced here, video oh. later on. Now, something else which I just want to briefly mention is the capacitor. So a capacitor forces positive and negative charges to separate across two plates when it is connected to a power supply. This causes a buildup or store of electrons within an electric field. When the power supply is cut or interrupted, these charges will then be released, flow up and meet again. This provides a power source, but only for a few seconds until the charges have paired back up again. Pause it real quick for me right, right so there. You see that word capacitors? Yeah, capacitor. He's explaining capacitors store electric charge. Capacitors store electric charge. Now go to the movie Back to the Future mm -hmm. and ask me what he was feeding his car to keep it uh, charged. He was feeding a flux capacitor <laughs> that's right <laughs> he was taking trash and converting it into energy <laughs> right right like he, it. banana you know? peels and shit yeah yeah so yeah go ahead go ahead i'm sorry yeah, that's fine no that's fine that's fine go ahead like like i like how you're going with this the, the, the oh yeah i'm gonna keep breaking all of this down because i this is how i learned uh what life is about mm -hmm. what living is without mm -hmm. electricity there's no living mm-hmm there's no living. Otherwise, we just exist in the particle state, the elementary particle state, still mm -hmm. trying to bond negative and charged bonds to come together and create molecules, create atoms and other things. We grow into what we are from this state. So we have to know how electricity works, because if you don't know how electricity works, you won't uh, be able to develop a circuit. If you can't develop a circuit, all your ideas will fail. No matter mm -hmm. what group you come together with as a group, if they're not a circuit, it won't flow and it won't have a generating or alternating power source. So your ideas or your organizations will fail if they don't have an alternating power source. You have to make sure you got somebody that stands in the representation of the inductor, the capacitor, the, you know, the negative, the charge. The, uh, this is what your elections and politics is also about. Mm -hmm. Electricity. See, go ahead, man. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video and then we can go in because okay, okay, I don't know if anybody got any questions too. 
Um, I want to make sure we, you know, I don't ignore them. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna cover. We're gonna cover it. I'm getting this pitch, this flex capacitor right here, man. That joint. I was couple, I was getting a picture of that flex capacitor for you. Yeah, the flux. Yeah, the flux. FL, FLUX. Yeah, and flux. uh flux flux also has to deal with you know like magnetism as well, you know, uh push and pull. Hey. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean actually because looking at this uh this diagram, it looked like that same tetrahedric energies type shit. You, you just it's, it's, it's I told you a long time ago that tetrahedral energy was based on electromagnetism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told you, but I'm trying to explain to it now. The white people or Caucasians, you know, uh, our, uh, you know, dropped off and left in the cold children. <laughs> right. I'm trying to let you know the electricity it, it it deals with how we think and that current of electricity that helps keep us uh, as an alternating current or flow of electricity to keep our brains charged and our hearts charged and our lower regions charged so that we can reproduce. Mm -hmm. This is how the air was able to accumulate a body based upon the atomic structure. Because mm -hmm. atoms are formed from negative and positively charged ions. They bond together because opposites attract. Mm -hmm. So, you know, go ahead, go ahead. We got to finish this video. Add to, wanna... to what you were saying, we'll talk about this. Uh, it says the flesh capacitor was a core component of doctor. Okay, I just wanted to, I just wanted to see this part right here. With how it, did he explain how it worked? So this is the same thing. It says temporary field capacitor. All right, we're going back over this later. Flex energy. Mm -hmm. okay, you just put me on to something right there. Okay, all right, let me get back to that video. Yeah. But capacitors are very common and they're in almost every single circuit board. Um, we'll cover this obviously in more detail in a future video. Just be aware of these. So the last part I want to cover in this video is that there are two types of current electricity. That being alternating current or AC mm -hmm. and then direct current or DC. Alternating current simply means that the current flows backwards and forwards in a circuit as the terminals are constantly reversed. This is a bit like the tide of the sea. It goes in and out, in and out, in and out. So it is reversing constantly. Now, alternating current is the most common source of power and the plug sockets in your homes and your buildings and schools and, and workplace, etc. These will all be providing alternating current, AC. Now, on the other hand, we've got direct current or DC, and that simply means that the current flows directly in, in only one direction. It does not alternate. This is what's provided from batteries and almost all your handheld devices are, are from this as well. So we can convert AC to DC and vice versa using power electronics. And this is how we charge and power you know, small devices. And it's also how solar panels can be used to power our homes because Solar panels produce DC power mm -hmm. and our homes need AC power. So we have to convert this for it to be usable. So both uh, AC and DC have pros and cons to it, but you know, we'll, for sure we'll look at this in another later video. It's a bit more advanced. And there's also quite an interesting history behind uh, why we use AC and DC and the inventors behind that. If you've got 10 minutes, I definitely recommend having a Google or a YouTube of this too. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and it helped you. If you have any questions, please leave me in the comment section yeah, below. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe and check out our website, theengineeringmindset.com. Yeah, yeah, and I hope you heard the website so that y'all can get hip to where to go get the higher sciences. And this is one of the higher sciences, electricity, how it works. Back in ancient times, this was something we knew. We didn't believe in it. We knew it. We had it working for us. It worked for us. Everything we knew we made work for us. The only reason why I wanted us to start off with that video is to imply that this is how life operates in every <laughs> form or facet. You can go to the government and there's the government in itself operates like an electrical circuit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The team. The football team, the basketball team, we move and operate in this way.
-hmm. this all this stuff is vibrating from the quantum realm uh outward and also from the macro cosm inward it's not and it can't be just one thing it's only the two things that make up the one thing that end up the third thing therefore you got one plus two plus one plus two equals three because mm -hmm. once we come together as one and one we equal that two that's where the one plus one equals two but then you got the two that come together those two when they multiply they make a third mm -hmm. so that's the one plus two equals three in the math in the science now i'm only you know bringing that in because i'm letting people know the woman and the man body type represent a negative and positive type mm -hmm. charge all mm -hmm. the way from the positive and negative particles that help form atoms themselves. See, if you need positive and negative particles to form an atom, mm -hmm. then you need positive and negative human beings to form a human being. See how it works? Yeah, that's right. It's consistent from the quantum field all the way out through the macro. So if you want to know how things work in the cosmos, study the small operations and they will literally ripple outward into macrocosmic space and you will understand how things work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There will be no confusion about that. Nubian people have coiled hair and copper skin. So if you think about how much electricity we're conducting, this is why niggas don't understand we were the main motor for industry at one point in time. Niggas what? can get to a point where we don't get tired. And they'd be like, what? They'd be like, yeah, a pure Negro body can be out working literally for 24 hours straight. Yep. That'd and be only require four hours of rest because of how much sun he's getting, how much absorption of photons in the atmosphere or you know down here in the in the what is the strat stratosphere <laughs> mm -hmm. you know i'm saying where we are the status the state that we exist in the lowest state you need the positive and negative to exist there's not there don't the idea of wiping out caucasians is a childish egotistical idea mm -hmm. that's what i'm trying to explain you're not going to be able to get rid of your children that you left in the cold a long time ago. They are like prodigal children. The only way Neo defeated Agent Smith is how? He he joined he 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 accepted the machine. No, mm -hmm. no. He, he no, nah, you was you hot. What you doing? Keep going. He, he accepted that, hey, that they gotta exist too. Everybody. But how did he defeat him in the Matrix? Oh, in the Matrix. He he let him become part of him, I think. Uh, exactly. Yeah. They yeah. had to recognize that they were one. Yeah. So yeah. he absorbed Agent Smith. That's or right. Agent Smith absorbed him. And once yeah. he was inside of him, just like in the original, the first one, where, uh, well, who was it? Uh, Smith, oh yeah, he dove into Agent Smith and then yeah. caused him to explode, right? Yeah. yeah. This is his positive energy overwhelming the negative energy. But then when the negative energy started overwhelming the positive, everything in the matrix went dark. That's right. Because cold is equivalent to darkness. Mm -hmm. In the winter time, we had the shortest days. Mm -hmm. That's when the sun appears to not rise as high. So cold is holding down the sun in appearance anyway. It looks that way. We know ain't nothing holding down nothing when it comes to how everything is really moving. That's an illusion. But just knowing how those atoms and particles work, we know how the sun and the planets also work. Mm -hmm. and, and I would advise most people to study that, that video and any other video connected to electricity, learning how circuits work. Because once you learn how the circuits work, you'll be able to get the, the, our women and our men in a certain formation to where we'll bring power to whatever ideas we want.
-hmm. everybody will be right in circulation to where the power will flow through everybody in every station because mm -hmm. everybody represents an electrical component every unit of us would represent it now check this out remember i said this a long time ago i did i said it a long time ago but i wonder if we'll ever be able to swallow our egos and come together to do this and have an uh, actual representation of a government for our people and that means just the, you know, the Nubians, the copper colored people, mm -hmm. because if we're a, a, a natural power source given to this planet to help produce things, then it should be protected, not overused. Mm -hmm. We need to be managed right by our own energy. And then we'll be able to produce a power source for the rest of the world because our ideas will produce it because of what we represent. Galactically, we'll be able to produce a product that lasts and doesn't die out. Something that's alternate and keeps this life force going. Mm -hmm. Black, that comes out of our intelligence. Now, while they're trying to master it without us, they'll keep failing. It's just like I was saying about us trying to do something with our Caucasians. We're going to keep failing. That's right. We have to... Well, we, 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 we got to absorb them, family. We have to absorb them. And the only way to absorb them is to stop being prejudiced and racist against just the color, see, and go with the laws of magnetism, which is opposite to tract, so that you can absorb what they are, which is a representation of transparency. Mm hmm now, my next question would be to a person that doesn't understand who and what we are as existent beings. How does light, how do you bend light? How do you bend light? And see, once you find out the key or the secret to that in the science, then you'll understand why it's so easy to bend us with music and TV. See, not just that liquids because the only way to slow light down that i know of is through gas and through liquid because mm -hmm. if you flash light through liquid it slows it down it starts to spread it out mm -hmm. if you put light through a liquid like put it like this like a jar if i set up a laser and I got a clear jar and I got the laser on one side and I got it taped in place to where it won't move. Mm -hmm. And then I turn it on and it's flashing to the other side of the jar. And I had filled that jar up with water first before I did this. So when I put the laser light through the jar and it's, it's flashing through the transparency of the glass, but it bends the light. In order for me to release it, I'd have to drill a hole in the other side where the light is beaming, then the light will pass straight through the glass towards the hole. The water that comes out of that hole will be the same color as the light, and it will be pouring and bending the light. Mm -hmm. See, the light won't shoot out of the water. It stays trapped in it. That's right. Y'all got to be able to see these experiments, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's this, when I was studying this stuff, man, it was some fascinating stuff. You talk about getting goosebumps or your hair standing still like I was, it was electrifying your hair stands up all over your body when you start to realize that these are the components that the religions are not teaching <laughs> right that's right this is what we hated though this is what we hated yeah. what yeah. if you learn these things you will not fail why because these systems do not fail this is how nature works and how nature continues and stays infinite and abundant and ever flowing and everlasting. So no, do not try to get rid of the Caucasians. Just don't get mad when you see one of them niggas with a white girl. Don't get mad when you see one of them white men with a sister. We must absorb them. Absorb, Thanks. not kill, not murder. By absorbing them, mixing their cold temperature with our hot temperature, if we're hot enough, we could change them in degrees. Therefore, the children, like we used to say in old classes, become demigods. Stephon Curry. Thank you. Him and his brother. They both in the yep. NBA. Yep. 
That's right. They both, and then look at the Ball brothers. You see? Right. That's right. If we keep fighting against it, we're not going to be able to create something magnific magnificently powerful. If we learn how to work with these people in harmony, it's never been done before. I want y'all to understand it. It would be the most magnificent thing we've ever achieved as people, as human beings. All this mind, 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 mind is a toddler thought. Two-year-olds. Terrible twos. And as Charles Barkley would say, terrible, terrible, terrible. There's too much of that going on. That's the ego. Our egos won't allow us to rise as high as we need to because their coldness will always suppress our heat. I heard the fire coming out of the sister last night that was on here. She fired up. She ready to burn it down. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all right. Because her spirit yeah. is receiving a lot of what? Radiation. It's coming from within the atmosphere, the air that we breathe, the gases and the, and the particles and everything that we're walking through. All of that stuff gets its change first and then ripples out with the us. Then we get it. And all of that's moving on a rhythm, which is on a wave. So, you know, I just had to make, make sure I try to give a, uh, I hope I wasn't all over the place with it, but I wanted to give a clear oh, view that's fine. You, you of wouldn't... positive and negatives are needed. You can't do without the other. If you do, things stop moving. Okay? Things stop moving. The dude said, a closed circuit, you got power. As soon as somebody opens the circuit, you break the flow of power. See? That's right. Hey, I'm with you. Yeah. I, I, see, yeah. I see your metaphors on this. Look at, look, at, look at the nation of Islam. They've been a great discipline to our people for how long now? Man, it's, it's been a long time. Yeah. Right. So they're with, with what they bring to the table. As a nation, as, as we're all part of the, you know, copper nation of people, their discipline, and then I look at the Hebrew Israelites, and I see mm -hmm. their strong formation, and then I say, why don't they become the construction companies for us in our system? All them big, strong, burly brothers, man, y'all could be the construction company oh, for yeah. Nubians. For Nubians, for black people, for our people, for copper color people, and let the, the nation of Islam be the military for our people. See, let them be the military. Let them be uh, the, 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 the construction company. Get your Christians out of the Christianity way of thinking. Get, take them into the Yoruba so that they can start learning about elements and learning about making elixirs and tinctures and getting into uh, medicines because they want to be Christ. So they need to learn how to be crystal clear on everything that they do. They're not clear because they're being misled by so many stories because they're egotistically children, egotistically. Anytime somebody is going, my God, my God, my God, as <laughs> if it ain't everybody's God, you're a child. Come on. You know, you hear you, you know what I'm saying? And we love our people, but it's time to what? Not just grow up, wake up, and show up. We got to show up. It ain't about the conflict, but the conflict does bring change and elevation. Every time they one up us, we one up them. What is that called? Growth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Without them. We don't see where our flaws are. Niggas just bask in their own glory, dancing in glory. See, without us, they don't see where their flaws are. So they need us so that they can get better and be the best them. And we need to look at them to see that we need to be the best us. There's no wiping them out. There's only connecting. You connect with them. Or you disconnect and break a flow and chain in actual energy and power that could be or would be and should be, Central but power. isn't. Huh? 
Hey man, you hit it. You 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 going right to that no number but one, just like the new told me, man. You you hit it there, you know, like you talk of it, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, it's right there in our faces. Like it's not in in today's time, there's no excuse to ignore it. There's no excuse. You know how I am about waiting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, people that lift weights end up being strong, but they also know how to move the weight up off of them. They don't just sit there with the weight on their chest. Now, we've been waiting for you know what and you know who for a long time, a savior. Yeah, that's right. But we don't understand how to save ourselves. When I start to go into electricity, people think that I'm, you know, I don't know what they think. I'm not going to talk about the listeners and what they think because they're here. But other people that might skip past this and go, oh, this nigga ain't talking about nothing. I'm not the nigga. They're the nigga. I'm the positive. Uh -huh. They're the nigga. The nigga, tis. See? Yeah. The niggas are the nagas. The nagas, the negative. You, you need the naga action. Remember, the I means action. Uh huh. So you need the naga action. You need the negative action. You need that movement. You need the positive movement. Once we come together, and like we always say, steel sharper steel, but I say I'm the sand block. I'm not. A block, uh, 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 another sword for you to clash up against. I'm not that. I'm going to grind the blade that you are into a sharper, more uh, uh, keen, uh, uh, piercing. Your sight will be more piercing. You'll be more on point with what you see. Your blade will be double-edged. It won't just be a katana, just one-sided, even though those are safe. <laughs> the double edged sword, man, you can swing one. it like a berserker. I got one. Yeah. See, you can swing a double edged sword which way? Left and right. Mm -hmm. It's balanced. It's supposed to be. And if you got a weak wrist, you ain't swinging no sword accurately anyway. You can always be holding it with two hands. So. I'm talking about words, not just metal. Words and metal, to me, the word metal <laughs> in itself is a word. So they go hand in hand. Without words, you wouldn't even be able to call upon metal as nothing. There would be no iron ore, no copper, no zinc. You know, it wouldn't be any of that or the other minerals that we need. Now, with the knowledge of electricity, we can make a whole uh, uh, system work for ourselves and we can bring in the, the chemistry knowledge to where when somebody says we don't have any uh, enough copper, there's a system to finding it and producing it. Chemistry will teach us, chemistry and alchemy together, the transmutation of metals will teach us that all we need is to find the ore or the rocks that the metal or the mineral exists in. You can pound the rock down to a dust and then you can put what it is in some liquid and cook the liquid on a slow simmer for a long period of time or enough time to draw out the oxygen in it, pull out the minerals and you'll find pieces of, uh, I'm talking about particle, dust particles of gold, dust particles of silver, dust particles of, of, of uh, what's that, uh, platinum, dust particles of, of copper, dust particles of every type of uh, pure metal. And it'll be in its pure state, particle. See? And then the possibilities from the particle state become infinite. Because then we can take the gold out, sift through it, separate it, and you know how they do when they make jewelry, they add other metals to your jewelry to increase the size and weight of your gold. That's right. That's right. Right? Now, we can do the same thing to increase the side and the weight of our copper to make copper wires and real thick gauge copper wires to power our cities and have our cities running off of solar energy because we'll be able to set up a circuit that runs off solar power. It's not simple until we start doing it. As long as we just think about it and dreaming about it and you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. It ain't gonna get done. 
money ain't going to do none of this for us. That's right. That's right. And white folks, without them, you can forget about money because it's theirs. It ain't ours. We didn't make that $100 bill. <laughs> we didn't right. make the 20 yeah. and the 5 No, that's their invention. And it works for them. And if we want to do business with them and make that connection and make that circuit flow of energy and currency, and we know the energy and how to deal with it, because if you don't, there's things in place in a circuit to stop things before they overload. That's right. So we'll have a a base, and this is what the police system represents. They stop things before they get too out of control, so they won't let the power flow uh, 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 burst the whole machine, it'll just blow a fuse. So the police station might represent a fuse that catches all of the power and pops it there before it can blow everything up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See? The whole system has to run off of this type of information in order for it to, to actually work. This is life. This is not my philosophy that's why i wanted to show you the video this Mm -hmm. is well-known knowledge amongst electricians now whether electricians use this type of information to get ahead in all situations in their life is unbeknownst to me i don't know that but as i see things they all tie into electricity in this realm and magnetism in the quantum Mm -hmm. And there's a force right there that we can start tapping into as we gain intelligence to never run out of power again. It's not about eliminating the electric companies as much as it is finding out how to make sure the power is distributed fair, fairly, evenly, in a balanced manner. Right now, it's not. Or at least I don't see it. Not yet. I don't see it. What do I, what I mean by that? I mean, you pay an electric bill. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. It powers your house and your house runs off of an alternating current. Now, what do you pay an electric bill for? Is it for the electricity or is it for the setup, the equipment and the knowledge of it? The equip, the set up the equipment and the knowledge of it? Thank you. And then they're telling you, well, we got a source of power, right, that's feeding your house the current to keep it on an alternating current, like how the sun feeds all the planets. And they're going to make you pay them for it. Now, if we set up our own electricity, do we need all them wires? Only thing you need wires for is to go into your devices. But then the device, the wire and cords will lead to a solar panel. The solar panels would store all of the energy from the sun throughout the days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the sun gives off enough charge at 12 noon to power the planet for five years straight, just at 12 noon. Man, they, they, they got us, bro. They got us. Go ahead. I'm trying to explain to you. If you learn science, I'm telling you, all that other stuff niggas be talking about to me is irrelevant. I'm like, bro, you without the science, as soon as you get your nation going, it's going to fall. We've seen them all failing because they don't have a, a, a research and development system. Thanks. Nubians need a research and development system. All of us in different states. We need one in Chicago. We need one in Michigan. We need one in Ohio. We need one in in Alabama. We need one in Louisiana. We need one in Cali. We need one wherever we are for us. Why? Because as copper colored people, we need things to help keep us charged. Because we're part of a major conduction of energy on the planet and production. Now, when you look at Caucasians, they are too. Think about it. Look at the silver color metals. Don't they conduct? 
silver, platinum, white gold. <laughs> Niggas be like, no, but see, white gold, you got to mix it for them. Like, yeah, and it's also pink gold and all this other. Why? Because during the making of these minerals, they get not contaminated, but they get mixed with other things during the development in nature. So they come out certain degrees, certain colors. Then you break them down and strip them of those things. You separate them through alchemical processes, change the metals to different types of metals and shapes and everything. And then you you make your tools. We don't have to keep going buying the tools, even though I appreciate every tool that the white man or the Caucasian has made because it's helped us in our lives living under their uh, quote unquote rule. <laughs> we use the tools, we go through all of the systems complaining. Because we don't remember they had to go through our systems too. And you know, when they went through our systems, they was complaining. We had to help them get through it. Well, we crew to them. Some of our extreme brothers and sisters are and always will be because they represent an extreme form of energy. Mm -hmm. They lean too much towards the positive and bring a complete imbalance. Some of them lean too much towards the negative and bring a complete imbalance. Once you become unstable, stability is balance. Stability is balance. So once you become unstable, you become unreasonable. Thanks. I just talked about this. 15. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, when people get mad, they can't even control their speech. But this deals with the retarded retardation or the connection of electricity that flows through your brain. See, when you get too hot tempered, you can't think straight. They call it thinking straight. You can't be on point. You're going to be like, Dull. And instead of saying, son, like that dude I got on that video that opened the door while his son was doing that sermon in the closet, he said, You need to take a shower. You need to get in there and then. <laughs> you, need to, you need to get in there and clean that kitchen like I told you to. Do all that. And this dude was looking like he was at least 30 something years old. I said, Damn. And that's what happened when you ain't conducted enough power and electricity, which equates to what we call potential in the human form. Right. Your electrical current allows you to have infinite possibilities within your potential to quote unquote, become what you want or be what you want or be how you want, not what, but how more than what. Because I, I can want to be a uh, a tiger all day but I can be like a tiger but I can't be the tiger I can just try to take on some characteristics try to rub off some of the information you see on me of how tigers operate how they behave because the only thing that kills the fear of me and tigers is learning about them it's the only thing if you raise one you get it when it's a, a cub that fear leaves because you grow to understand or overstand its behavior patterns. What makes it tick? What makes it angry? What makes it play? Does it know how to play soft and gentle? Do you have to teach it? All that stuff you learn, and then it kills the fear of the whole species because now you're starting to go, I understand now. But that's you letting somebody else energy rub off or you're absorbing their energy. When you go read books, you're absorbing someone else's energy. But you still have to have a processor in your brain to sift through everything you learned in that book to make sure what's positive and what's negative and what you're going to use and what's going to work and what ain't. Otherwise, the book's just sitting on the shelf and, you know, collecting dust. Ain't nobody reading it. And it doesn't matter if you read it, if you're not going to do anything with the knowledge. Right. It doesn't matter. It just sits in your body as dormant potential, dormant, lazy, just laying there asleep inside you, waiting to wake up and take action. 
fighting at this point. I told you niggas three years ago, you and I both will lose. We don't have any circuits. We're not organized into a circuit that works. Like I just said, Nation of Islam, military, discipline, boom. Hebrew Israelites, construction workers for us, help be the builders, the master builders for our communities. Christians go into making medicines, get into the chemistry and the biochemistry for us. If everybody took a faction or a science of life, we could forget about, not forget, but we could absorb all the other philosophies into one. Because all of them are philosophies that we're all living by. No matter what religion or creed that you've accepted, it's all a way of thought, a way of thinking. So in order for us to get ahead as a people, I think we should be studying these things. Electricity is a major tool for us to come together and learn. When your grandma power go out at the house and you know getting damn well uh, out of her tribe of, of family, she's produced an, at least one electrician. At least one. Right, right. Then they can call that family member and say, Grandmama need your expertise. And then you become the savior. No. We the messiahs, and that's how we have to be the messiahs. Otherwise, we just become parasites. <laughs> just right. absorb it, absorb it, just suck it, as, you know? This is this all you do? Take uh-uh. it no giving. Yeah, you got to give. The giving part is the positive part. It's the pushing part. The negative part is the absorbing part. You need both in order for it to keep flowing. You need them both. You need the in and out. The mm-hmm. up and the down. You need it. And on a sphere, 720 degrees, ain't no up. And ain't no down. That's right. Go ahead. Go in on it. In outer space, ain't no up, ain't no down. Down is in. Up is out. (laughs) Go ahead, get them. Yeah. That's what it is. In every planet. Nobody really know where the top is. So how is it? uh, That's what I was. Yeah. How could it be a top when this mofo is spinning? It's not spinning one direction. It's spinning in a direction. Then it's also turning upside down while it's spinning in that direction. And it's also moving in a circular fashion around the source or the battery source it feeds off of, which is the sun. So it's making three movements on its own. Three. Ain't no telling that the, the movement on the inside of the planet probably goes in another direction. Why? Because it moves and operates the same way that dude explained the atom. Planets operate the yeah. same way. Same way. The sun, the universe, it operates the same way. It's not a mystery, family. It's right in front of our faces, but we ignore it for other things. We We... I'd rather, some people would rather go uh, Easter egg hunting and, and hope to find money in a plastic egg than to listen to what I'm talking about. That's or to research electricity, you know? Could you imagine where your son would be in your, if, if you started him out learning the knowledge of electricity right now? Mm-hmm. If he's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, within those years right there, very critical in guiding the new you. Make no mistake about it. I say it all the time. Our children are continuations of the original force of us. The continuation, a strand of energy that keeps flowing all the way around the planet and it keeps on going and going and going and going and going. There's just no stop to this. You want to be all good? You're going to disconnect yourself from the flow of action. You want to be all negative? <laughs> you definitely going to disconnect yourself 
from the flow of action because all good people end up becoming hermits. They don't go outside no more. They don't want to talk to nobody no more because they're too good. They keep looking at everybody judging them. I can't go out there, them people crazy. I found myself doing it. I know it happens. You go into hermit mode because you think everybody should live up to your damn standards when that's not true. Nature don't care nothing about your standards <laughs> at all. The only time the judgment starts is when we get all of these bodies. So, hey, man, I'm ready. I'm ready for questions, man. I'm going to keep murmuring on about how it works. They know by now for sure. And I'll bring on a, uh, some other examples of magnetism and, and quantum locking and, and, and power sources that we need to tap into. Because, you know, we used to talk about this in the private classes on Zoom amongst only, you know, up to 20 people, sometimes 30. Depending, but see on lives like this, people that were wondering how black people gonna rise, you ain't gotta wonder. It's not in it's not in no other systems, but the higher sciences. Uh huh. You don't need the you know independency is valued by being self sustaining. You can't be independent unless unless we can sustain ourselves without the need of anyone else. We can't do that. We can't stand. We just can't. And will will not. Why? Because the circuit is open. The circuit is open. Now we close the circuit on our power source, meaning our ideas. Niggas is full of ideas. <laughs> You know he is. We make our wives mad talking about it all the time in the house. They be sitting up in there talking about some. I wish you would just do one of them already. You come up with 30, 40 ideas every day. You ain't done one. You know, because of what we are. We're constantly generating what? Solutions. Nubian men are constantly trying to fix the problems. We know what we do. Women are constantly presenting them, not giving us problems, but presenting the equations because she represents what? The planet itself and her body type, her body type. Because she has a soul too that her daddy gave her. We got to. Yes. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, please. Oh, my bad. I, my, uh, we got a couple questions rolling. I even wrote some down so we did uh, for the guys that asked when this first shirt show first started. I got three so far. All right, bet I'm I'm ready. Okay, the first one is uh the dude. Let me go back to my notes. It says right here. Uh, this is from Billy. He says, uh, "Was the soul created in darkness and the body created in light? Uh, what's your perspective on that?" Okay, soul deals with the solar energy radiation. Okay. So that spark did not and could not, will not come about without the mixtures of what I just explained, positive and negatives, okay? So with the mixtures of positive and negatives, therefore we have a sun, therefore we have power, we have potential, we have soul. In the body, that soul from the sun is represented throughout the gases in the air that we breathe that keeps the body and the brain generating electricity and power, a constant current that keeps us alive in action in the now. Because there ain't no such thing as time unless you're just talking about the globe. The soul and darkness I'll say the soul came out of a spark of darkness. What was in the darkness was the negative and positives as separations. And then when they magnetically draw, drew to each other, that's when the vibration of the particles started. And then the spark of photons began. Glow, glowing started from vibrational friction. The friction causes an electrical cord. This is why you hear the constant 
Um, flowing through your refrigerator. And that same sound is flowing throughout the entire universe. Because if it wasn't, nothing would be moving. So darkness would be first. From my opinion, my perspective, I'm only one particle. Don't neglect your own perspective. Just take the perspective that I've just given and add it to the one you have. And try to make sense of it. If it doesn't make sense, try to make sense of it. You have the brain that can process enough information to bring it together for your own reasoning. If you don't and you can't do that, then somebody's going to lead you in the way that they're going. And you might not want to go. Then resistance happens. Just like in an electrical circuit, there's resistors. Transistors, resistors, transformers. <laughs> go ahead, Big Bro. Go ahead. Another question. I'm ready. I'm ready. Gotcha. I hope that Gotcha. answered this uh, question, man. I appreciate the question. Yeah, yeah. That was uh that was a good one. Uh it says right here. How do you feel about sun gazing? Sun gazing? I feel like sun gazing is needed, but not too much of it. Don't do too much of it. You, you need it in temporary spurts, flashes, because it's impossible not to sun gaze knowing that you see only because of light photon particles. If there wasn't photon particles, dust particles, things in the air, you wouldn't be able to see no light at all. And that comes from the sun itself. Sight comes from the sun. Being able to see. What happens when light passes through transparent uh, surfaces? It bends. So what happens when light goes in through the eye from sun gaze? It, it bends. bends. And there's fluid in the eye. Fluid. How do you slow down light? Liquid. Water. See? Otherwise, your brain would blow up. So there has to be a transparent surface on the lens of the eye called a cornea. Cornea. See? It goes through that, through the iris. The iris is the gates. The gates are a perfect 360 degree circle held together by cones. Cones that are shaped like little vortexes inside the eyeball. And as soon as that light goes in, they have to close because they can't let too much of it in. So the pupil starts to shrink. Too much eye, man, if you didn't have that there, listen. <laughs> if the eyeball didn't have the different colors to it, your brain would be fried. So thank goodness for the construction of the eyeball because it allows the light that comes into the brain to slow down enough to where we can sun gaze. Yes, light is information. And if you sun gaze, you're going to be thinking of a lot of good stuff. And you also might come up with some good epiphanies and things too. But you can't be distracted. It's like meditation. Sun gazing is a form of meditation. Excuse the beeping, family. I got this jerk in front of me that won't switch lanes. Thank you. you His <laughs> dad go automatic trucks, man. Oh, they got you an electric joint now? The automatics, man. Oh, okay, uh, automatics. They, okay. they, you know, not, you know, the other one, stick shift is what I learned how to use the manual. Yeah, yep, it's old school, yeah. The manual. Yeah. The, the Peter But I'm, uh, I hope that it was a good insight on the question. Oh, so yeah, that, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever uh, the person, or is it a sister or a brother? Uh, it's a brother. I think okay, I hope, I hope his brother got good insight on yeah, that. And he clock. can go, go start studying uh optometry uh and you know anything that deals with the optical or um or anything that deals with the eyeball so that he can start breaking down the layers of it and then he'll be able to understand the whole of why people see things the way they see even when it's coming from the inside of the brain and being projected outward mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so when people see things it's because that same light that is going in was stored up 
And then it has to start coming out, especially if you're not talking. It's energy. It's potential. So a lot of times we'll project what would be or possibility. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that possibility could be Freddy Krueger. <laughs> you fuck around and be in the dark, think you saw Freddy Cougar in that yeah. darkness and be yeah. ran and run into a wall. It's amazing. How you out. It. It's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing because it's all electrical currents that we're producing. Mm -hmm. The brain is processing it. It's a computer. How sophisticated is our brain computer? And how do you upgrade your brain computer? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm explaining right now. Science, science, and you can get into philosophies like ontology and epistemology, and maybe existentialism. Mm -hmm. A lot of socialism is a philosophy. Uh, you know, there's many, there's many isms. So everybody's brain is representing positive and negative particles down here. Because do you know what your small head look like when you're up in an airplane up there in the clouds flying from state mm -hmm. to state? Can you see any of the people down here? No. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. It look like, that, like it's go ahead, go ahead. Small. everything is like uh, when you're riding a plane, it depends on how you, how you go. But everything as you go out smaller, everything get real mm -hmm. smaller. And it, it looks like, you know, like you can see the cars, but you can't, and you can't, you can't really see the people. You can't really see the people depending on how high you is. Right. Yeah. People start looking like dots. Yeah. Because that's all <laughs> you really are in all. A, a dot. Yeah. A dot. Expanding. Moving around, roaming around, operating, doing what you do naturally. Mm -hmm. naturally not oh man I'm going to go to hell if I oh no, no Jesus is going to get me up oh God is looking at me up that's you <laughs> that's you uh huh right that's, that's what I'm telling your my wife uh -huh. that's, your higher, that's your higher self telling you that's the wind your higher self telling you hey man you know that ain't right. Uh, this it's your higher self. It ain't God. Uh, uh well, it is God. It's God is you. You know what I'm saying? If you want to say it like that, but I'm saying it's it's you. It's you telling you. Ain't your your God? Ain't, the, the, the people be killing me with it, man. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, God just told me, man. God, nigga, that's your higher self that told you, nigga. You need to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly, bro. It's us. Yeah. Even when we go in a uh, state of meditation and we're in a state of, uh, of sleep or stasis and we're breathing without that constant connection to breath or to the air or to electricity, to an alternating current, there's no neurons firing off to develop any type of theories, synopsis, planning, nothing. So you need negative and positive just to meditate. You need negative and positive to get off this planet. If you want to get off this planet, you're going to have to ride a current. Which current do you want to be in? Which means what time or what now? Which now do you want to be in? So I always tell people, I warn them, be careful what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. when you, Especially when you pass, because thinking is your electrical current. What drives your thinking? See? Isn't there a drive in a computer tower? Right. Without it, can you store any information? No. So what's driving people is information. What's information? Light, data, <laughs> electricity. That's what it is. The ability to put something in motion and make it action, take action, follow directions. And do the planets bump into each other? Nope. They mind their own goddamn business. <laughs> so people 
shouldn't bump into each other. Take notice of the celestial bodies. Do you want to cause a problem by being out of order and bumping into somebody and not saying, excuse me? Sorry, sir, my balance was off a little bit. No, our egos jump right on out. Watch where you going, nigga. <laughs> now, what sound better to you? Watch where you going, nigga. Or, my apologies, sir, my balance was a little off. Now, you don't have to say balance. You can say equilibrium. Didn't mean to do that. Or do you want to explode and fight, blow up, tear down the whole daggone store that you shouldn't be fighting in? That's what I mean. Understanding electricity is going to allow you to be able to conduct. See, conduct, conductor, conduct, conduct, disorderly, dysfunctional conduct. Conduct. If you cannot conduct your energy, someone else will store your energy in a cell in what I call jail or hell. <laughs> I call it hell. I think it's the same damn thing. Because they don't allow you to do exactly what you want with your energy. They contain it. And then they use your energy in a productive way. And we hate it. Because we don't get paid nothing but 15 cents an hour, some 10 an hour, some less. Depending on the job. But they're going to use you. So understand energy. You will not be confused about nothing. Confusion comes from breaking the fusion of a circuit. When the circuit is broken open, confusion begins. <laughs> the brain ain't functioning on all cylinders. It's not firing. You know. Go ahead, big brother. I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready for another I question. You. I got another question for you, brother. The next question that we have for you, brother. And my son had a voice. And my son had a voice. The next, next question we have for you, brother. <laughs> That's not enemy, right? Uh, here we go, right here. All right. The next question was: Does the universe work off energy, frequency, and vibration? From the brother I am giant, child of brother I am giant. Does the universe work off of energy and frequency and vibration? Okay. Um, yes. In Emphatically, yes. That's what I've been teaching. If you want to go off of the words frequency, use it. Because electricity has a frequency. These things that I'm talking about, do not break them down into puzzle pieces and separate them and put one in your pocket and go try to sell a book on it. Don't do that, man. I'm trying to show you the whole picture. Yes. Energy and frequency. Yes. The flow of electricity deals with the frequency. And then there's devices that help you calculate the number or the level of the frequency. You got one of them things that, um, you know, I had to go out and buy one because, you know, I dibble and dabble into electrical engineering. My grandfather was an electrical engineer and a mathematician a professor at a college. So, yes, big bro. Yes, big brother. Yes, yes, yes. Frequencies and energy is running throughout the entire universe in various forms. But it is frequency and energies. But frequency and energies are just words. It does what it does without you even knowing of the word frequency. There's somebody in South America that doesn't use the word frequency, but they're describing the same thing. They use a different spell. It's just words. So I don't disagree with you, brother. I'm telling you, yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, go ahead, big bro. I'll, I'll take another question too. Man. Right, Just I, keep I, I the got, questions I got a question. Uh, could you break down? Uh, we we got we down we got the negative and positive that that works together to create the 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 power that we need the power of the universe really, right? So uh, could you break down the static electricity? Because like sometimes when you when I'm walking, it, like it ain't happening now, but I usually when the summertime when it's real hotter. Uh, like if I'm walking on the carpet and shit, like, and I touch my wife or something, boom, you, say, oh, you just shocked me. You know what I'm saying? So how is that happening? Like in reference to the friction or the sun and whatever with us, you know, uh, we static electricity or whatever. Okay. Friction is how that's happening. Friction. Your body is constantly generating friction from breathing for one. That's part of the charge. And then if you're, your clothes, what you're wearing, also carries its own charge as a material for what it's made of. So whatever it's made of will carry a static charge. That helps add to your static charge, which gives you an overproduction of it in the moment from friction. Once you generate enough heat, you have to release it. I kiss my wife and shock her on the lips all the time. All the time. And we use dryer sheets. We're using them. So it's, it's not static clean for my, my clothes. It's I got an afro. See, I have an afro. I, I grow my hair out and keep it as natural and coily and kingly as possible. So therefore, my hair is picking up a lot of electromagnetism from my auric egg that's also tapping into the electromagnetic field. You and her both are connected to it. We can't be separated from it. So the only thing that you're doing is releasing the friction. That same release of friction that causes when, when you touch her, it's the same release of friction that happens when you bust a nut. Go ahead, go ahead. I got to let that sink in for a while. Without positive and negative, you can't even bring a life into this planet. Hey. So your charge is coming from friction. Her charge is coming from friction. When y'all uh, touch each other, whoever's charge might be greater either. Y'all's a match and your charge is spark. They spark the same way when you, you know, get under your hood and then you, you know, you're a mechanic. So what happens if I take the red uh, cable, jumper cable, and I plug it or try to touch the black post? It's gonna spark. <laughs> or, or you touch it. Trust me, man, listen. If you don't control the current, you won't keep the current going the way it's supposed to by controlling and putting those clamps on the positive and negative posts that they're supposed to be on, you're going to have a daggone spark. It'll blow up, a fire, something. You might even electrocute yourself. The electrocution just deals with the body being overflown. Because your body is only designed to contain a certain amount of volts, amps and wattage. And what's the dangerous thing? Amps. That's right. Amps is what hurt in electricity. It's not watts. It's amps. So when somebody's getting amped up, somebody's got to cool them down. And you always got that homie that does it. Come on, man. Come on over here, man. Come on, man. You got the wife and kids at the crib. You can't be out here fighting at the club so that we go to jail. That's the voice of reason. That dude right there is going to cool you down when you get too amped up. Because if you get too amped up, you're going to hurt somebody. It's electricity, family. It's electricity. So I hope that gave some clarity on the static and the friction. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, oh, let me add one more thing on it. The clouds are 
moving in a direction and the planet is moving in another direction, that causes friction. I said this in the last class. That's what causes the lightning to happen, family. Friction. Because lightning ain't nothing but static. It's a macrocosm version of static right before your eyes. Remember I say if it works that way on a small level, it works that way on all levels. Don't forget that. Apply it to every facet of your life, how everything works, all things work. Go ahead, big bro. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, Thanks. I got you. Let me get that next question going on. And the next question we have for you, brother, is <laughs> that's, that's, that's our letter. Okay, all right. Oh, look, let me scroll back up. Make sure I copy cover everybody. It says, uh, hey, drop them questions in the chat, man. We're trying to keep everybody in London. It says, uh, what is pathogenics? Pathogens? Yeah, pathogens. That's what they're trying It's to right there in the word. Break the spell. Before you, matter of fact, you can look up a definition for them to get them the the definition because you know I didn't create the spell word pathogen, but you know yeah, what yeah. I'll do is break into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and tell them phonetically what I hear is gene and path and path of a gene. Mm -hmm. Pathogen is something that is a gene that's on a path that might not interact well with your body. And the pathogens come in different forms, same way you do. So there could be a pathogen that disrupts somebody's organs, causes them to fall ill or be sick. It could be a pathogen, airborne or a pathogen in the water, right? But whatever it is, it's a, a, it's a type of uh, a, a organism, a, ke a chemical or a gene of some sort. I mean, that's just, you know, off of just going off the word itself. Now let's look up the definition so that we're sure or, or what both left and right brain is going to say. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, get the internet. It's tripping, man. Like, it won't even load up. Hold on. I got you for I got you. I'll look okay, at it. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me make, I know how to do it. I'm going to make you, uh, let me make you co-host real quick. Uh, boom, 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 boom. How did I do it? Oh. All right, stop. All right, hold on. Listen, let me do it like this. That way you can share your screen. Oh, uh, boom, boom, day right there. All right. You want to share your, no, you ain't, you ain't driving. Cause disease. Okay, um, okay. You, ain't, you ain't driving, you driving, man. Hold on, let me Yeah, you know I'm driving, man. I'm, I'm trying to get, hey, look, I, I, I know I should have uh, turned my computer off and turned it back on before I uh, started the show. But yeah. think, did they, uh, did they hear it though? Say it again, say it again. It's similar to what I was explaining, but you know, I don't, these are the, the magic words here. Yeah, yeah, a bacterium, yeah. a virus, or other uh, microorganisms that can cause disease. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, some, uh, you know, I say a gene, a gene is an organism. <laughs> some, something that can affect a lot. The genes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Path, it's, it's, it's like it's spelled cart, then hen, o, G, genus. Yeah. So it's, uh yeah, part, meaning like. Oh, somebody saying parthenogenesis. Yeah, parthenogenesis. That's what it is. Oh, man. Parthenogenesis is an asexual being. Okay, all right. Like an amoeba. Remember everything that, that listen, everything that you lack, you can see it on a small level. And therefore, because it operates on a small level, it can operate on a large level too. Without it being an example of it on the small level, you wouldn't have one on the large level to see. Mm -hmm. So asexual beings have the potential to procreate by themselves. Mm -hmm. Parthenogenesis would be a form of that. Uh, a spider. A spider. That's a form of a type of being that has the ability of parthenogenesis. Things that can lay eggs on them, their own 
without the other chromosomes of another being. You see? So parthenogenesis is real, but as far as her or whoever it is is saying it's just exclusive for women, maybe a million years ago, I mean, there's some hermaphrodites here today. They can have an orgasm, but don't know uh, life producing semen come out of it. See what I'm saying? Nature voided it out when we started mixing. Our chemistries mixed and changed us from partho uh, parthenogenesis type of species into one that needed to mix because it divided and split the chromosomes to where we could share. No sweat. All right, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. I hope that uh, gave some insight, my perspective on that. Yeah, man, hey, you you fire, man, because they, they, uh, they, they, they going in. Hold up, let me get you lined up. They scared now, 15. Hmm. Not, not the people, uh, not the people, uh, it's people, you know, uh, it's the stuff that we put out a long time ago, right? Uh, uh -huh. And a lot of those people was on them classes, those private classes that we had. And that those people, they 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 going out, they teaching stuff, and they saying this and that, and but they scared to say uh, our name, say they got it from us. I shot everybody out. I shot everybody out that I get my sh get shit from, right? But they scared to say, oh, they got that from the 15, or they got that from Malachi, or they got, they scared to say that, man. Uh, they scared to say it. So for some reason, for some reason, these brothers, these brothers hate us, man. They don't hate us. <laughs> they love us. They love us, huh? <laughs> hey, love and hate would be positive and negative. Love and hate would be something that keeps us both going. Uh-huh. Superman needs Lex Luthor, Brainiac, Darkseid, or he ain't Superman. He needs somebody to show him why he's good. Otherwise, he becomes the main villain. He needs him. Batman needs the Joker. Right. You ever seen that movie called Superman versus the Elite? No, I haven't seen it. <clears throat> the elite, they became superheroes, I think, through experimentation, but they weren't really superheroes. They were they had superpowers. And they were trying to, you know, give out an example of uh why the old superhero uh, example is old and it's outdated and it won't work because they still believe in the goodness of change. When you keep letting the same daggone criminal, excuse me, that you put in jail, get out and he or she murders more people. While you and the villain stay alive to keep fighting and murdering more people. The people that are in the way, the people that are in the middle, People that stand around, they destroy everything. The elite said, why put them in jail so they can get out and keep doing that? We just gonna kill them, get rid of them. We started doing it. Superman was trying to tell them and convince them that fear, you shouldn't use fear on villains. Fear doesn't work. Right. Fear is not necessary for change. And what happened by the end of the movie? He ended up having to put fear in all of the elite to teach them. The Superman wasn't going to try to, you know, kill him, but he made them believe that he was killing them one by one. <laughs> and when they got scared, dude was begging for his life. This, that's when Superman let him know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was all a trick, smoke and mirrors, for me to teach your dumb ass with power. You got to have a responsibility to have a soft enough touch. Incredible Hulk. These are mythological stories. These are just stories, but I'm just giving you these stories so that you can see the perception of with great power, you have to learn how to be gentle and easy. 
because you'll break everything you touch. Incredible Hulk cannot grab a doorknob on a door without pulling it completely off if he doesn't look at the doorknob and treat it like an egg. He has to treat it like an egg. That's what they say. That's what the writers wrote. Right. So with great power, great strength, you got to learn how to be gentle. So you got all of that one way type of power. And now you got to learn the power of the other way with it. Big as a house, strong. I could throw up 500 pounds on the bench. But every time you get in your car, you're tearing up the axle on the on the on the on the hose, the rim and everything together because you weigh too much. Lose some weight. Now nah, you want to be big as a house and strong as a high, uh, ox too. Balance it out. Balance, man, is the key to longevity. That's right. You know? And of course, I'm bringing electricity and the knowledge of energy because that is where you should start with the purity of energy when you're talking about how human beings operate. When you're going into the quantum studies, start with electricity, then go into the magnetism, and then go into the quantum. And you'll see it all just unfold right before your eyes, man. Right before your eyes. The dust particles, the light particles, the liquid part, whatever particle state it exists in, they are still building and operating right now as we speak. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. That's why you see, you hear me talk the way I do now. I used to be in that religious state. And I used to want a savior to come, some type of entity to come from some other place down into this place to help us that doesn't, that's not us. And then I had to realize this is not how nature works. When you, when you look out into nature, you'll see how things come here, how things come into being here. They grow from a seed. And that's when I was able to see it. As long as I ignored that as the facts, as the truth, I was falling for everything I read in the book, which was someone else's idea, imagination, and philosophy, their theories. I have a theory, too, and a philosophy, too, and an idea, too. Why neglect what I'm thinking for what someone else is? If we're all thinking. I wouldn't neglect what I'm thinking. No, I'm going to keep what I'm thinking because I thought it. I generated that thought. I have to process it. That's why I tell people don't follow nobody. Man. You can take guidance, but don't follow nobody. You mess around and end up smelling that gas they, li they leave a trail of. You'd be going, man, who farted? It'd be your leader up there stinking because everybody's behind them following them. <laughs> Catch the backlash of the cats. <laughs> yeah, man. I followed, uh, when you follow somebody, you give up your potential to them. You give up your power to them voluntarily. And they can use you and then when they're done using you, you'll run a, a, want a reward for that. And if they can't give you a reward, you'll go from being in a peaceful state to a volatile state. Then your energy is unstable. So don't give your energy over to nobody completely. What for? Because they told you you got to. Got is just a word. So when they go, you got to do it. You got to do it. And I'll go, you're the only one saying that. Now, the next thing I'm going to say is, how you going to make me? Now, two opposing forces are challenged. The one dude already was trying to force you, like he a greater force to you. Then when you push back, as they say, this is how tornadoes are created. 
a hot force and a cold force. Dude trying to force you is a cold force. The hot force responds. Tries to check the cold force. Now they grab on to each other. Just like magnets. The negative side of this dude grabbed onto the positive side of this dude. Now they spinning and rolling around and moving furniture. <laughs> you understand magnetism? You can get along with anybody because you'll learn when they're coming at you negative. If you go positive, you'll bring something together. If you go negative with them, well, y'all going to push each other way apart. It's going to be a push. And these laws are consistent. So, you know, any, you know, any, any other law that you might think of that some man wrote on paper or some woman wrote on paper, do not supersede these laws. None of them. Universal do. law. Universal law is the highest law. Okay. The universal law is the highest. So you can't get past the negative and positive being the one if you and I both live off of the philosophy of one verse. That's what universe is. It's not me and you versus each other. See, it's already a formation that we need to, you know, stay in in order to stay alive. You break that formation, you're going to bring death to the situation. Death is rest. Death is hibernation, relaxation, openness. See, when you open, you break the circuit. There's your death. You're not connected to both forces at the same time anymore. You become whatever force you are in, in, in existence or in essence. And you've never seen that part of your force. Because without skin, right? Skin protects you from being dispersed. Your energy. Skin operates like plastic, glass, and rubber does. It's a buffer. It's an electrical buffer. That's why you put Skin on copper wires. Is your wires and your plugs exposed? The copper exposed? No. Each fiber of copper wire is interwoven and spun together like a twister, like a tornado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly how the current of energy is flowing through the wires, negative and positive, negative and positive, ions. Pushing, right? Pushing. So that you have power to your devices in, in the house, your devices, your vices in the house, the things that have your focus, that have a grab on your focus. <laughs> Excuse me. And it ain't nothing wrong with nowadays. Listen, I used to think, I used to preach against it. Oh, man, don't no, take them at tablets away from your babies. <laughs> take this away from your baby. Take that. Take this. Take. Nah, man, that ain't the way we going. That ain't the way we going, man. Every time I try to resist, I get steamrolled. Do not <laughs> stand in the way of this energy. You will get freaking steamrolled, pancaked, and moved out the way. Mm hmm Time don't wait for nobody, and neither does the wind. Nothing does. Energy don't ain't gonna wait for one one person. Come on now. <laughs> Energy ain't gonna wait on no one person. So we don't, you know, no more waiting, family. No more waiting, man. You know, I gotta get on and try to, you know, explain it through demonstration. Or, or presentation of what I'm talking about with uh, some type of electrical engineering and show people, hey man, at home, this is what you should probably be into so that you can create some things. If you don't get into it, you won't be able to create nothing to help help out with the, um, the family. If the family needs something, you won't be able to do it. Some break right now. 
if 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 something broke in the house with your knowledge of electricity and how it works, you don't know how to approach it. Then when your wife say, Hey, this is broke, baby, that's broke, baby, you go fix it. Becoming what for her? Her Messiah. Cleaning up messes, fixing stuff. You have to have skills. This is where your potential comes in at. You have to have skills. So, newbie and men, I always encourage to learn a trade. If bartering and trading is the same thing, then why wouldn't you learn a trade? Thanks. You don't want to learn how to trade with nobody? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Any, uh, anybody else got any questions, Big Bro? Man? Hey, it says you committed. Okay, all right. Dre, drop your questions in the link. We're going to get ready to cut to another class in about 20 minutes, though. We're going to come back because uh, we're going to get about two hours in. Then we're going to go back. We're going to go to another one so we can, uh, so we won't have it so long. But uh, I was thinking we got to go in on, uh, you ought to go in on a connection on the next one with the Zodiac. Mm-hmm. But the zodiac, we'll just call it zodiac energy, and you go in on that, just connection with the zodiac energy on the next one. Yep, uh, you know, I'm, hey, <laughs> it's all good, man. I'm, I'm with that, and uh, I don't have no problem yeah, going yeah. into the astronomy and astro- dealing with astrology and things. Yeah. The that's where our energy control. comes in from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Right, that's what we're gonna do then. Hey, we're gonna, hey, YouTube. We're going to cut this one and we're going to come right back on with another one. Uh, give us about five minutes. All so we can, right. so we'll have to make it that long. We're going to come back with Zodiac signs and energy relationship. We'll, we'll go all whatever. Cause I know people, that's a hot topic, man. People want uh, the hot topic because we're going to get the energy back going. So let's, let's cut. We're going to give you five minutes. We're going to cut. We're going to restart it. I'm going to reset this computer so I can be able to get online too so I can play more shit. And uh, that way we can go ahead. So come give us five minutes, YouTube. Young Elder Gang, we about to be right back, man. 15 Elder, Razael, Tone Ray, baby. We about to be right back. Hit that like button. All right, 15, give me like five minutes. I'm going to send you a link to the, the new one.